evening my YouTube family I just finished my gym session and I don't know I'm really craving for some real Indian food today okay so after giving absolute zero thoughts I have decided to kill my cravings and I'm going to visit one Indian restaurant known as the Indian food box which is actually a grandma's style Indian restaurant located at Langrimi 21 Reykjavik and it is owned by an Indian his name is Abhishek and he is also my friend me and Abhishek met while playing cricket and he asked me to join and to play for a club so yeah let's go Chalo. food box and without wasting any time let's see what they have on the menu so in snacks they have this special chart samosa my all-time favorite which is also the national snack of India chana salad papadums which comes with mango Dal chutney makhani, my favorite paneer makhani my favorite paneer kurma my super favorite Okay guys, now I'm gonna try this street style samosa chart. Mm. This is really a lip smacker. It is mostly common in the northern states of India. It's basically a street food and it's really good. They also have this uh, mango lassi, which is generally a summer drink, but doesn't matter in which part of the world you are in whether in Iceland or West Africa this drink will definitely make you feel refreshed this is uh, made of uh, mangoes of course yogurt and a little touch of cardamom top class guys today we have with us Abhi the owner of uh, Indian food box Abhi welcome thanks a lot uh, so Abhi tell us like uh, how you came up with the name of this restaurant like Indian food box What of all as the name suggests is Indian food in a box we wanted to make it simple and we wanted to make it unique and we wanted to make sure everyone can understand that Indian food box and if you are searching on Google or anything that was the main reason behind it we wanted to make sure if someone is searching through Alexa or Siri, you just have to say Indian food box. And I believe if there is any Indian restaurant, it's very hard for them to find with the name. Why yeah. you think like the Indian food box is unique? Indian food box is unique guys because we are following 50 year old recipe of our grandma. We are cooking it from our scratch, how our grandma used to cook when we were small or our mother. We are making sure we don't go away from that zone when we started it we found it that no one in iceland is cooking like her grandma used to cook so we are following that and we are trying to make sure we can bring the old dishes back to iceland it's a question for I uh, indians who, are, who will be traveling to iceland who are fond of traveling to iceland so which month which uh, part of the year you recommend that they should travel guys first of all i would like to tell you please don't plan too much when you are coming to Iceland. You can plan few days but always have a plan B. It can rain any day, it can be sunny any day. So please make sure but what my friend asked me the best time would be to come here is July. July can be the safest month but still make sure you are not coming with a lot of expectation. I hope the weather would be good but no one knows what will happen. Yeah. And if both the plans didn't work then you should have plan C like that you should visit this Indian food box of course that's a lot important. of people will not agree with me I like the weather a lot here you need to be ready for everything so you need to be spontaneous it can be raining in five minutes and in the next five minutes you will see the sun coming out so you have to be bang on just let's go out do something and don't stay at home in the future we would like to open our own restaurant 
instead of a take away place because if we keep on going this way we can expand it into a restaurant within a year good luck for that thanks a lot so that will be it guys and abhi do you want to say something guys please don't forget to subscribe my friend channel is indian in iceland he is doing really good job by making sure you can see how is it to live in iceland thanks a lot guys and please subscribe so guys do yourself a favor by visiting this lovely restaurant the food is really authentic indian cuisine which i have been missing in iceland a lot the chefs are great and they really do care about your taste highly recommended i have put their number insta facebook handles in the description below so if you are in reykjavik you must hop in here and murder your cravings of classical indian food so that's it from today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed give a thumbs up get yourself subscribed and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you Hey, hey, hey.